You cannot compromise truth without your credibility going down the drain. Hello, I'm Paul Barry, and welcome to the biggest royal photo scandal since the Duchess of York had her toes sucked by a Texas millionaire 30 years ago, when the Sun's Fergie front page caused an almighty scandal. But it's got nothing on Kate's Photoshop fail, which was, of course, prompted by the internet and media demanding... Where is Kate Middleton? How is Kate? Where is Kate? Where is Princess Kate? And her response? Over here with the kids! With Kate posting this happy family snap on Instagram and X and the media cheering Kate back. Kate is smiles better. A picture of health. Yes, no coma for Kate. She's looking well, um, she's smiling, and hopefully, putting this picture out on Mother's Day, will dispel any of these crazy myths that have been going around online. A PR masterstroke, but... <coughs> What's that? We have some extraordinary breaking news, as you can see on your screen. So the, the major press agencies right around the world have pulled that Mother's Day photo, saying it's been manipulated at the source. And what was the problem? Take your pick. So for one, where's her wedding ring? It appears to be a glitch on the left arm of Princess Charlotte. What you can see is half of her sleeve has started to blend with her skirt. This hand has been altered dramatically or been replaced. Charlotte's skirt is off, her hair is off, Kate's jacket zipper looks weird. Everyone knows it's winter, so those plants would not be <laughs> in season. Oh dear, and the TikTok sleuths who filled their days with inane theories on Kate's whereabouts now had a new obsession. This face is an exact copy and paste of the face Kate Middleton made for a Vogue magazine back in 2016. Or was it taken last year? The clues are in the clothes. Now let's look at the boots that she's wearing in this new photo. It's the same exact boots as this baby bank visit. Look at the neckline on this sweater in this photo. And here she is in a very similar neckline on the same day from the baby bank. Wow. Luckily, it was left to the UK Telegraph to do some real digging, analyzing the photo's digital footprint, claiming it was taken recently at the couple's Windsor home and edited twice in Photoshop. And who was responsible? Mum's the word. With Kate saying, sorry, and fessing up that I do occasionally experiment with editing. Really? And that had some of the British press issuing their own kill order on the critics. So The Sun, Kevin, says lay off Kate. <laughs> and they have put an editorial on the front page. Now, this is very unusual. With its record. And the royal commentators were also hosing it down. She just wanted the image to be perfect. She's not wearing the ring. Was that just an oversight? Yeah, I think so. You know, people were saying, listen, you might have been doing the washing up. Seriously? Surely William does the dishes. Anyway, the mob was still asking for proof of life from the future queen. And then we got it. Snap by the paps in the back of a car, trying to hide from the camera. But was that really her, some asked. And is she okay? It feels like incredibly Hitchcockian to me. I feel like I'm watching, you know, a psychological thriller from the 40s in which a woman is deeply in peril and can't get out. Oh no, the future queen is trapped. Oh, it's exhausting, isn't it? And there's no end in sight. Conspiracy. Controversy. Crisis. A princess in hiding. Absolute disaster. And now the fake palace photo. Inside a right royal mess. Yes, for the media now, it is the world's most important story. Or at least, the most popular. This is an absolute fiasco. 